The four don'ts in treating people. Of the people we keep in touch with regularly, or friends we see only occasionally, some are as pleasant as the spring breezes, and so everyone wants to be around them. However, there are also those who instill fear in others because their behavior or mood is unacceptable. Worse still, some of them are so unpleasant that after meeting them once, no one wants to ever see them again. In life, we all want others to think well of us and not treat us with anger or hatred. But if we intend to make good impressions, we need to pay attention to our attitude of treating people. The following are the four don'ts we have to consider when relating to people. One, don't look for a payback. Be compassionate and caring. Praise or flattery cannot be compared to the care and support people give us when we are suffering or in pain. Therefore, we should generously give our compassion and care to others. However, in giving, we do not speak about it. In receiving, we do not forget. When others help us, we need to repay their kindness a hundredfold. If we give others some assistance, we should not be looking for a payback. Moreover, we should not even keep it in our mind. When anyone looks for a payback in giving, such a person will be viewed as publicity seeker who wants a good name. When we are able to give without any concern or profit, we are truly compassionate. Two, don't bear any anger or hatred. Be tolerant and yielding. The greatest cultivation is tolerance. When we treat others with an open mind and big heart, we will be able to forgive and tolerate any transgressions with compassion and understanding. Naturally, no anger or hatred will arise, and we will not be full of complaints. When we are able to hold fewer grudges, life can easily be fulfilled. 3. The gathering and dispersing of wealth is half and half. We are all witness to the major ups and downs in people's lives so too does this wealth come and go. In the blink of an eye, they could be living with immense wealth, indulging themselves in every luxury, then just as suddenly, they could be completely broke, living in the dire straits of abject poverty. According to the saying, wealth does not last for more than three generations. The connected discourses of the Buddha also points out that all phenomena are impermanent, 4. Don't be arrogant, be humble and gentle. In conducting ourselves, it is our duty to be respectful towards our seniors and act with gentle kindness towards our peers. When we are humble and respectful, we will give others the impression of gentleness, courtesy, compassion, and kindness. They will be happy and eager to get close to us. Therefore, if we treat others with humility and gentleness, we can naturally make broad connections with people. The cardinal rule in dealing with people and handling matters is forgiveness, which we should apply to both self and others. In our everyday life, we should not take the shortcomings of others as mistakes. Instead, we should always have the intent to make a positive connection as opposed to making enemies. We should be tolerant and patient in winning people over, and when the time is right, we will be able to earn their respect. Therefore, we need to bear in mind the four don'ts in life.